Him alone deserves our praise. He is worthy to be praised. Open your mouth and worship him. Open your mouth and exalt his name. Who is like unto thee, O God, among the God who is like thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders, be thou glorified in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. It's our month of unforgettable testimonies. And one of the testimonies we are praying for is mind-blowing testimonies. Job 37 verse 5. God thundereth marvelously with his voice. Great things doeth he which we cannot comprehend. Say with me, Father, in the name of Jesus, all through this month, two mind-blowing things in our lives as we seek you in the prayer altar. Say it again, Father, in the name of Jesus, all through this month, two mind-blowing things in our lives as we seek you in the prayer altar. Open your mouth and make that a prayer. Mind blowing things. Echo manata lepe no sanata ya panata. Eshana taka panata. Eyes are not seen. Yes, are not heard. Neither was it getting to the heart of man. The testimonies he has prepared for us this month. Lord, do mind blowing things unto him that is able to do exceeding. Abundantly, a comanati kapa lifa nata, a shana nana naya bada badas, maya bada 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 badas, rakana bali panalosa nata, a fanata kapa nata lepe noa, a shana nata, maya kana panata lepe noa, rakana panapa na panapa na, rato soraniya kapa lepe no, a fasa panata. So in the name of Jesus, the next one is surprisingly joyful testimonies. Psalm 1 to 6, verse 1 to 2. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Say with me, Father, in the name of Jesus, you are the doer of great things. Decorate our lives with surprisingly joyful things in this month and beyond. Say it again, Father, in the name of Jesus, you are the doer of great things. Decorate our lives with surprisingly joyful things. Things, this month and beyond. Open your mouth and make that a prayer. Decorate our lives with joyful testimonies. Decorate our lives. Epanata Yamanata Lepenoa. Epanata Lepenetoa. Eshamana Maya Bada 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 in the name of Jesus, Amen. we are still praying for unforgettable testimonies, and one of the unforgettable testimony God gives are difficult things. Jeremiah 23, 32, verse 17. Jeremiah 32, verse 17. Our Lord God, behold, thou hast made the heavens and the earth, and by thy great power and stretch out arms, there is nothing too hard for you to do. Lift your hand and say, Father, Father in the name of Jesus, all through this month, answer me. Answer me. Answer me, answer me with 
unforgettable testimonies and turn all difficulties in my life to a testimony. One more time, Father, in the name of Jesus, all through this month, answer me with difficulties and turn all difficulties in my life to a testimony. Open your voice. Lord, there is nothing too hard for you to do. With man, it might be impossible, but not with God. For with God, all things are possible. Oh Lord, turn every difficult in my life to a testimony. When men are cast out, I shall say, There is a lifting up, Lord God, every difficult in my life. Do it, I am a in the name of Jesus. Amen. Another thing God does are fearful things. Exodus 15, verse 11. Who is like unto thee, O oh Lord, among the gods? Who is like the glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders. Lift your hand and say, Father, Father in the name of the Jesus, name of Jesus, as we engage Jesus. the prayer altar, the prayer altar. all through this month, do fearful things that will silence our mockers in our life, in our families, and in full life. One more time, Lord, in the name of Jesus, as we engage. The prayer altar all through this month. Do fearful things that will silence our mockers in our lives, in our families, and in full life. Open your mouth. There are many that said to my soul, There is no hope for him. God, but now, oh Lord, and the seal for me, you are my glory. Lord, silence my mother. Lord, silence my mother. the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. One prayer. Bible says in Matthew 15 and verse 13. He said, every tree that was not planted by my father shall be rooted up. Lift your right hand and say, Father, Father, Father in the name of Jesus, name of as, Jesus. We as we engage the engage. prayer altar, prayer altar. This, morning, this morning, uproot, uproot every evil planting of the enemy anywhere around our lives, around our families, around full life. One more time, Father, in the name of Jesus, as we engage the prayer altar, this morning, uproot every evil planting 
of the enemy anywhere around our lives, around our families, around full life. Lift your voice. Shut up, Lord, by your power, uproot every evil planting of witchcraft, every evil planting from any shrine, every evil planting of evil speaking, wherever it came from. Lord, make a higher, shut up, and live up, and uproot every evil planting. Jesus, mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Lift those hands above your heads, wave thank it to God, Jesus. lift your voice and give him thank the glory. Jesus. Father, we love you. Glory we thank you for hearing and answering thank us. You, Lord. Thank In you, Father. Jesus' mighty name. Put those hands together for Jesus. Shortly we will be praying, but just before we pray, be seated. Prayer will secure divine partnership. Somebody this morning, as you pray, God will partner with you in the name of Jesus. We live in a time where you can't uh, survive and navigate the murky waters of this world without the help of God. Without the help of God. It is not just about you, it is about who goes with you. When God goes with you, things that do not answer to you will answer to your God. And this morning, somebody, God will partner with you in the name of Jesus. In Psalm 91 verse 15, he says, he shall call upon me. Somebody say, I will call upon God. Now look at this, he says, I will answer him. And I will be with him. May God be with you in the name of Jesus. All through this week, may God be with you in the name of Jesus. In your business, may God be with you in the name of Jesus. In your career, may God be with you in the name of Jesus. In your marriage, may God be with you in the name of Jesus. Listen to me. It does not matter what is happening around you. What matters is the presence of God with you. When God is with you, every other thing will bow to you. I pray for you this morning. As you pray now, may God open the heavens and journey this week with you. In Isaiah 64, verse 1, it was a prayer. He said, oh, 64 verse 1, oh, that thou wouldest rend the heavens, that thou wouldest come down. Now, when it comes down, what happens? The mountains might flow down at thy presence. Every mountain of problem, every mountain of resistance, every mountain of difficulty, whatever it is uh, that has stood resisting you, as you pray this morning, God will go with you and that mountain will melt like wax. I'd like you to believe it with your whole heart this morning because after today you will walk in the consciousness that you are not alone no child of God ought to be alone but God said I will be with those who call upon me who call upon me so you call upon him he goes with you you keep quiet you walk alone but this morning you will not walk alone in the name of Jesus now when God goes with you what will happen number one you will become an overcomer you will become an overcomer you will become an overcomer this week somebody here you will overcome in the name of Jesus in the business world you will overcome in your finances you will overcome look at it in first john 4 verse 4 he says ye are of god little children and have overcome them why because greater is he that is in you greater is he that is in you your 
strength is you are no longer rated on the basis of your personal strength. You are rated on the basis of who is going with you. There are nations in this world that are backed by nations that are called world powers. You don't, you don't encroach those nations. You can squeeze them if you wanted to. You can annihilate them if you wanted to. But because a greater power is backing them. You touch them, you touch the greater power. Listen to me, when God goes with you, whoever touches you, touches God. And who cannot stop God, cannot stop you. What cannot put God down, cannot put you down. As you pray this morning, you will become an overcomer. I like you to know you need to be an overcomer to have an unforgettable testimony. And when God was talking to us about you having an, over, uh, an unforgettable testimony, God was saying that you will become an overcomer. Anything that looked like it was overcoming you before today, it shall go down for your sake. Now look at this. In Second Chronicles Chapter 20, verse 17. When God goes with you, you enjoy triumph in the battles of life. In impossible situations, you enjoy triumph. You enjoy victory. You enjoy success. He says, listen to me. You shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourself. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. The Lord with you. Oh, and see the salvation of the Lord with you. Oh, Judah and Jerusalem, fear not. Be not dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. Now listen to me. When God went with them, as they began to sing and to praise, the Bible says the Lord raised ambushment. Can we see verse 22? Verse 22. Look at verse 22. When God went with them, this was the end result. The Bible says God set ambushment against the children of Ammon, Moab, and Mousia, which were come against Judah, and they were smitten. Listen to me this week as you pray anything that was fighting you shall be smitten in the name of Jesus Listen, they have fought you for too long but this week will be different why because you will not go alone as you are praying God will go with you concerning that contract God will go with you in your community God will go with you in your business God will go with you whoever has prepared a charm anywhere to resist you as you pray this morning their power shall be scattered when God goes with you, you don't need to fight on your own. You just stand still and you see the salvation of God. No child of God ought to be fighting alone. He said, come upon me. I will answer you. I will be with you. You don't need money. You need God. You don't need physical strength. You need God. You don't need to be afraid of any dream. You need God. You need God. You need God. Number three, God tells us he will be a very present help in trouble. Psalm 46 verse 1. Psalm 46 verse 1. Psalm 46 verse 1. God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in what? Trouble. When God goes with you, trouble cannot swallow you. Trouble cannot swallow you. It does not matter any deadline that has been set for you. As you pray this morning, that deadline shall be reversed. Somebody missed a place to say a loud amen. Any help you need is available in God. All you need is for God to go with you. When God goes with you, you can never be stranded. So Jesus is speaking to us. The Lord is speaking to us. Paul writing in Hebrews 13 verse 6. Hebrews 13 verse 6. Let's start from verse 5. Let's start from verse 5. He said, no, verse 6 now, sorry. Verse 6. He says, so that we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. And because he's your helper, I will not fear what man shall do 
unto me. Listen to me. Don't fear that dream. It will not come to pass. Don't fear that situation. It will not happen. Any fear you came with today, as you pray this morning, that fear shall be blasted out. Why? Because God is with you. God is with you. God can be with you and you'll be stranded in life. It is impossible. When God is with you, all your needs are supplied. All your needs are supplied according to his riches in glory. According to his riches. So it is not about your pocket. It's about who is going with you. So the father goes with a child. They enter a shopping mall. The child has no money. But he turns and says, Daddy, can I get this? And he nods. He picks it. And she nods. She picks it. And they go on. And they roll the cart uh, to the pain point. Uh, and the child steps aside. And the father steps forward. Because the father is going with the child. The child had no money, but the father has what he needs. The father brings out this card and the bills are paid. Somebody this morning, I don't know what bill is confronting you, but as you pray, God will go with you and all your bills shall be paid. I see God supply your needs. I see God put money in your account. I see God change the narrative of your life. Now, if you are that person that God will go with this morning, rise up and give God a shout. Lift your two hands up before God. Say, Father, thank you for the blessing of divine partnership. Open your mouth and thank him. Go ahead and thank him. Thank him that he said uh, to partner with you this morning. To partner with you this week. Uh, whatever the answer to you uh, before today. Uh, as God partners with you, uh, it will answer to you. Uh, lift your hands, lift your voice. Uh, thank him, thank him, thank him. Somebody this week, God will partner with you and God will fight for you. Amen. I say God will fight for Amen. you. Amen. Concerning that matter in your family, God will fight for you. Amen. Concerning that business proposal, God will fight for you. Amen. Concerning that marital delay, God will fight for you. Amen. Concerning that head challenge, God will fight for you. Amen. Somebody who is tired of fighting alone, shout a loud amen. Amen. He said you will not need to fight in this battle. Lift your right hand before God. Say, Father, Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus let every power, let every, power, let every force, let every, let every, force, let every spirit, let every spirit, whosoever, whosoever is fighting, is fighting against, my against my destiny, let them expire by fire, by fire, by fire. Open your mouth. And pray. Go ahead and pray. Lord, arise and fight for my father's house. Lord, arise and fight for me. Lord, arise and fight for full life. Every enemy of full life, every adversary of my life, let them expire by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Listen, you can't stand before God in prayers 
and bow before men in distress. Listen to me as you pray now. God will take over the battles of your life. Hear me? There are things your optical eye cannot see. But God can see it all. Sometimes you don't know what is pinching you. You feel the pain everywhere. You don't know where it is coming from. But God can see it. Now when God fights for you, he fights both the physical and the invisible. Both the ones you can see and the ones you cannot see. Somebody this morning as you pray, all through this week, God shall fight for you lift your hand before God I'd like you to pray this prayer with violence because the kingdom of God suffered violence and the violent take it by force take it by force say father anything, anything, anything fighting, fighting me fighting me oh lord oh lord arise and fight them fight them and fight them and fight them fight them fight them open your mouth and fight them so fight now with you and fight anything fighting you fighting your marriage fighting your children fighting your health Listen to me. What you need is God. In the presence of trouble does not matter. In short, the stronger the trouble, the stronger the display of the arm of your God. He said he is a very present help in trouble. He is your refuge and your fortress. If God protects you, what can harm you? He said, I will be with him in trouble. Ah! I don't know how you came this morning, but somebody they help you need is be made available in the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. Lift your two hands up before God. You are not a vagabond child. God is your father. He has promised you help. He said, call upon me. I will answer you. I will be with you in trouble. He said that they may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. Ah, your two hands up before God. Say, Father, Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus as I pray now, I, pray now, I, receive, I receive divine help divine for, for my life, for my, life, for my family, for, my family, for, full, life. for full life. Open your mouth yeah, and pray. Yeah, pray. Yeah, Leave yeah, those yeah, eyes before God yeah, and yeah, pray. Yeah, receive yeah, divine help yeah, for yeah, your yeah, life, yeah, for your family, yeah, for yeah, full yeah, life. Yeah, this way, yeah, God will help you. in the name of Jesus Amen. last prayer this morning it does not matter how empty you came when Jesus is with you your supply will be on ground yes. you know the multitudes gathered around him and it was night and there was nowhere for them to find food he could have sent them away but not God 
when God is with you, he never sends you away empty. He told them, what have they? Five loaves and two fishes. And the multitudes were fed. It didn't matter how stranded Peter was. Peter met Jesus and said they needed to pay taxes. He's petition was answered on the spot go catch that fish uh, and get enough supply to pay for yourself and for me when Jesus is with you your needs are supplied he said my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory now the Egyptians are about to the Israelites are about to leave Egypt God is going with them they can't go empty so he said I will give you favor and when you go, you will not go empty. Somebody this morning, you will receive all your needs supplied. You will receive every expectation Amen. you desire. Now lift your two hands up before God. Say, Father, Father in the name of, the Jesus, name of Jesus, I enjoy, I enjoy divine, divine partnership, divine partnership and, I and I receive all my needs supply. Now open your you mouth and make that your prayer. to present your personal supplications, whatever it is you want God to do for you. Go ahead and mention it. Go ahead and mention it. It's specific this morning. It's specific this morning. Pray in the spirit. Pray in understanding. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Cry out to God. Press him, press him, press him. Go ahead and pray. Mention that need. Mention that desire. You know what you want. God will supply. God will supply. He is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you can ask or think or imagine. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Present your personal supplications before God. You have two more minutes. You have two more minutes. Don't be quiet now. Don't be quiet now. He said he will be with you. When God is with you, the heavens are open. When God is with you, your supply is guaranteed. When God is with you, your questions are answered. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. It's your time. Encounter God. Encounter his power. Encounter his fullness. Open your mouth wide. He said he will feel it. Go ahead and pray. You have 50 more seconds. You have 50 more seconds. Press him, press him, press him, press him. Press it, press it. It's not about you. Uh, it's about God. Uh, what prevailed against you yesterday uh, will not prevail today. Uh, for God is with you. Uh, go ahead and pray. In the name of Jesus. 
Now lift your hands and begin to give him thanks for answered prayers. Begin to give him thanks for answered prayers. Begin to give him thanks for answered prayers. Ranta balagadosa. Rende braga lagadosa. Ja lagadadadadada. E krabagazode bragadesa. Father, we thank you. We are not walking alone. You are walking with us. Everything at work in you is duplicated in us. What cannot stop you cannot stop us. We are seated with you in heavenly places far above. Father, we give you all the glory in the name of Jesus. Let your amen sound like thunder. Amen. Now listen to me. I'd like you to bring out the best seed you can. While I was praying, God just had a, had a stirring in my spirit. Now somebody here, God wants to bless you a thousand times more. So I'd like you to get at least a thousand naira out. If you can give five thousand, bring it out. If you can give ten thousand, bring it out. If you can give two, you can give one. But get out a thousand naira. If you can, anywhere around you. Now listen to me. You have struggled on your own long enough. Connect with divine sponsorship via divine partnership. You give to God and it takes over. Get out that seed if you can. Get out that seed if you can. Stand with it. Stand with it before God. You have a thousand naira anywhere around you. Please bring it out. Please bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. It's a different day. It's a different day. Some of you will live here and rush into miracle supplies. You will live here and rush into miracle supplies. God will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory. Your giving is a reflection of your trust in him. Are you aware people buy forms in thousands of naira expecting a grant they never see? God says, now so I will give good measure, press down, shaking together and running over. You have that seed, stand to your feet with it. A thousand naira or more, a thousand naira or more, five thousand, three thousand, two thousand, stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Lift it high up before God. Lift it high up before God. Now, those of you sitting down, whatever seed you have, 500, 200, whatever, just join them. Lift it up before God. It will be the least you will ever give. It will be the least you will ever give. And make sure there is a seed in your hand this morning. Make sure there is a seed in your hand this morning. I'm giving you two seconds. Stand to your feet with that seed. Stand to your feet with that seed. Lift it high up before God. Say, Father. Father, in the name of Jesus, as this seed lifts my hand, I enjoy divine partnership in my finances, in my health, in my marriage, in the lives of my children, in everything connected to me, in the mighty name of Jesus. Now step forward with faith, with a smile. And come drop it on the altar. For those watching online, please take advantage of the numbers on the screen. Send in that seed. Send in that seed. Send it in. Connect with divine partnership in every area of your life. Go ahead. Send it in. The numbers are on the screen. Do that very quickly. You want to do an online transfer? Go ahead, go ahead and do that. You came with your debit card? Please move over very quickly to the POS desk by the power door and swipe those cards. And God will bless you. God will bless you. Go ahead and do it. Do it with excitement. Do it with a smile. Begin to picture that expectation you want. Uh, begin to picture it in your hands. Why? God is giving it to you. God is giving it to you. God is giving it to you. It's not about you. It's about God. Go ahead and package and drop it. Drop it with excitement. Drop it with excitement in your spirit. Drop it with excitement in your spirit. Drop it with excitement in your spirit. Drop it with 